Mr. Roth here. Welcome to my world, where it's naturally supernatural. My guest, the praying medic, says, if you will do these two things consistently, you will have a steady flow consistently of hearing God's voice. Are you interested? Is there a supernatural dimension? A world beyond the one we know? Is there life after death? Are there hidden forces of darkness trying to block God's blessings for your life? Do angels exist providing us with supernatural protection? Disarming our enemies? Can our dreams contain messages from heaven? Can we tap into ancient secrets of the supernatural? Is God ready to bring a tsunami wave of healing onto planet Earth today? Sid Roth has spent over 40 years researching the strange world of the supernatural. Join Sid for this edition of It's Supernatural. Now, many of you are familiar with the praying medic, Dave Hayes. But for those that are not, let me give you a quick recap. Uh, Dave was a fervent atheist till he was 38. Paramedic, 2000, he became a believer in the Messiah. And then strange things started happening. He started hearing God's voice. Uh, and then he had a prophetic dream. And what did God tell you to do with your patients in the ambulance? He said, I want you to pray for your patients. I'm going to show you what's wrong with them. And if you pray for them, I'll heal them. Now, when he said this to you, I mean, you're, you're a new believer. Uh, what do you, do you have no paradigm? Did you I think you'd no. be like uh, a healing evangelist, heal in the name of Jesus? What did you think? I was confused. I had no idea. I didn't even believe in healing at the time. I didn't believe in miracles. <laughs> I'd never seen anyone healed. In fact, my wife and I had just had an argument, a disagreement a couple of weeks earlier about healing. She believed in miracles. I didn't. And then I had the dream and God said, I'm going to do miracles through you. So I didn't, I didn't have a grid for it. All right. So. But you did have that Jewish thing called chutzpah, nerve, except yes. he's not Jewish, but somehow he got some of our chutzpah. I, uh, I anyway, am, am and you pray, but you no, know, let me tell you what this guy <laughs> did. You, you'd never have done this. He told me he prayed for 400 people in the ambulance. How many got healed? None. Did you hear that? None. <laughs> How many of you would have gone to 401? <laughs> I mean, this is in the image, this is your job, you can lose your job. I mean, I'm sure all this was going on inside of you. But then tell me one of the first people that was healed and what happened. Well, I was on the ambulance. It was a very hot day, and my partner and I went into a store to get something to drink. Got my Gatorade, I went to the checkout counter, and I was standing in line behind a woman, and for some reason I looked and I closed my eyes. In my mind, I saw what I now know is a vision. I didn't know what it was at the time. I saw a picture of this woman, and I saw the word migraines underneath her. And I It was thought, just like written out yeah. over this picture. Yep. You, had you ever seen this woman before? Nope, never saw her before. Okay. Never had any experience like that. Okay. So I just thought, okay, well, God must be telling me she has migraine headaches because he wants me to pray for her. So. All of a sudden, uh, I got this yes. boost of confidence or faith. And I said, hey, um, hi, I'm, I'm Dave, I'm a paramedic. Um, do you have migraine headaches? And she starts crying. And I said, what, what's wrong? She goes, yes, I have migraines, and how did you know that? 
And I said, well, God told me, and I think he wants me to pray for you so you can be healed. So I pray for her. Headache was completely gone. She's crying. And she said, you don't understand what happened. I have had migraines for years. This morning, I woke up with another headache, and I asked God, when are you going to heal me? And then you showed up at the store, and she got healed. And I got a testimony from her. I contacted her months later. She had never had any more migraines. Now, this was just the beginning. He gets so many people healed. Uh, he's a paramedic in an ambulance. He gets so many people healed after that. But you begged a question with me. So why weren't the first 400 healed? You had a dream from God. Right. Why? <laughs> because I didn't know how to release power and how to exercise authority. All right? I just thought I could beg God to heal somebody and they would be healed. And I, that's what I did for the first two or three months. I would very quietly I'd have a patient on the gurney, oh, Lord, if it's your will, please heal them in a quiet voice so no one could hear me. Did that for a few months. No one got healed. And I, I started learning about, you know, reading through the scriptures, reading through the New Testament, seeing how Jesus healed people and the, and the disciples healed people. And then I realized it's about authority, the authority that God has given us, and releasing the power, the power of the Holy Spirit that lives in us. Once I understood it was about releasing power and exercising authority, I started seeing people healed all the time. Tell me about one of the most recent healings you've had, I'd like to hear. Are you talking about conference. the one at the conference? Right. So I was at a conference in Tacoma last year, I'm and this woman tracked me down and said, Pray medic, me. can you pray for me? Can you pray uh, for I need to be healed. And I said, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll be happy to pray for you. And she, she knew me. She was a friend of mine. Uh, we'd emailed each other. I had prayed for her to be healed of emotional trauma from sexual abuse as a child. And she had already been healed of that. She had emphysema. She had circulatory problems. Her feet were purple. She had uh, heart problems, thyroid problems. She had a long list of problems. So I prayed for her for about 10 minutes. And I, I, I knew I wasn't going to have enough time to get everything healed. So as I was praying, I felt like the Lord told me, tell her you're going to send angels to follow her around at home when she leaves the conference. So I did that. So, so I did that. I said, look, I believe the Lord wants me to tell you that we're going to have angels follow you around for the rest of the, the week after you leave the conference. They're going to Now that's a pretty wild heal. statement for, for someone to make. Yes. But, but then I, you're wild. But, but <laughs> I, 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 look, you know, I, I try to be obedient, and it just requires sometimes taking that leap of faith. So I had never heard the Lord, Lord say that before. So I, I told her that, and then I went back to the conference. She emailed me a couple of weeks later and said, you're not going to believe what happened. First of all, the next day, the purple uh, skin on my feet turned normal color. Everybody noticed that my circulation cleared up. She went to an appointment that week, and they noticed that her breathing was normal. She wasn't huffing and puffing and wheezing like she had been. And she said, but the most amazing thing was the Wednesday after I went home, I was going to sleep that night. I laid down in bed, and as I was laying in bed, I saw an angel standing next to my bed, and he was dumping oil over me. <laughs> and she said, my breathing is better, all my health conditions are going away. She has continued to email me over the last few months. She's continuing to, the, the healing is continuing, and she's giving me updates on each condition as it's being healed. And I believe those angels are still releasing healing on her. You know, you know many years ago, uh, as a new believer, I saw Dr. Kenneth Hagin, who's now in heaven, uh, uh, minister great miracles. And I, then I heard him teach on how we could do it. And I said to myself, you can't teach a gift. A gift is a gift. You hear from God. You can't teach others to hear from God. Or can you? Yes, you can. And yes, I do. <laughs> <laughs> I, I do not believe what a lot of people believe about prophecy, about hearing from God, seeing visions, all those angelic experiences. 
Those are experiences anyone can have. If an atheist like me can do those things, I'm not special, I don't have a special anointing, God has specifically told me, I want you to teach my people how to operate in the supernatural, how to hear my voice, how to see visions, how to release healing. And that's what my books are about. That's what I do. Every believer can operate in all these arenas you operate in. Everyone who wants to and who's willing to practice can do it. One of the most frequent comments I get from people who've read my book on hearing God's voice is, wow, I read your book and I realized I was hearing God. He was speaking to me the whole time. I just never recognized it was Him speaking. When you come back, Dave says if you do two things consistently, you will hear God's voice. You will hear God's voice all the time. Be right back. We will be right back to It's Supernatural! Hello, YouTube Mishpocha. Mishpocha is a Hebrew word. It means family. This is Sid Roth. Welcome to my world where it's naturally supernatural. If you've been blessed by this show, please subscribe. Then click the bell so you won't miss a single episode of It's Supernatural! We now return to It's Supernatural! Okay, I know you're at the edge of your seat. What are those two things, Dave? I'm ready to do it and able, I hope. Tell me the two things. Well, what if the two things were things that people don't like to do naturally? I'll be candid with you. I would do anything to hear God's voice all the time. Wouldn't you? Okay, what if I told you that you have to turn off YouTube, turn off Netflix, turn off the TV, turn off the radio, tune in, tune all out, right. all as that stuff? As long as you tell me I don't have to stop <laughs> eating Chinese food. <laughs> you can eat Chinese I'm, I'm kidding. <laughs> no, but when, when the Lord had me in my season of training, because I had never seen visions, never heard God's voice, I had to go through a season of training, and that involved me shutting out all the exterior noise. God is speaking to us, and many times we don't hear or perceive He's actually speaking because our mind is being bombarded with other things. So if you get rid of the clutter, get quiet, get in, in God's presence, you will realize He's already speaking to you. The two things are, we need to learn how to get still and quiet, and we need to practice. Persistence is everything. It took me a, a period of months to learn how to see visions, to learn how to really hear His voice. Let's jump to meditating. I'm not talking about meditation in the New Age sense. Oh, you better not be. <laughs> I'm talking about when David said, I will meditate on your word day and night. Hmm. I will meditate on your goodness. I'll meditate on your presence. I have found one of the easiest ways to get in touch with the heart of God is to meditate on His goodness. There is a scripture that, that says Moses was praying and talking to God, and Moses said, show me your glory. And God, rather than saying, okay, I'll show you my glory, said, I will show you my goodness. Are they synonymous, you think? I, I believe they are. I huh. believe they are. When you are experiencing God's glory, you're experiencing His goodness. Hmm. I like that. Yeah. Uh, so, when you instruct people and they do what you instruct, will this work every time? It will. You need a little bit of instruction. <laughs> you, you need a little bit of teaching. Well, that's why you said the first 400 people were not healed. It wasn't that God didn't want to heal them. You didn't know what you were doing. I didn't know what I was doing. And, and it takes a little bit of instruction. Well, speaking about not knowing what you're doing, would you believe this great prophetic man despised Donald Trump for the presidency? But something happened along the way. We'll be right back. We will be right back to It's Supernatural! 
Call now and get Dave Hayes' powerful book, Hearing God's Voice Made Simple, and his anointed three-part audio CD teaching, Hearing God, Knowledge, Wisdom, and Revelation. Plus this bonus, Dave's audio CD, Hearing God in Today's Political World. This is an exclusive package for our It's Supernatural audience. Yours for a donation of $39. Shipping and handling is included. Ask for offer number 9541. In his book, Hearing God's Voice Made Simple, discover how to clearly discern life from death, truth from error, and the kingdom of God from the kingdom of darkness. Learn the many ways in which God will speak to you, including dreams, visions, aromas, emotions, skin sensations, and thought impressions. On Dave Hayes' three-part audio CD teaching series, Hearing God, Knowledge, Wisdom, and Revelation, you will learn how God speaks to you in your dreams, visions, through angels, and thought impressions. Learn the different purposes for God giving you revelation. Discover the differences between words of knowledge, words of wisdom, and words of prophecy. Dave Hayes prays an impartation over you to walk in the areas of words of wisdom, words of knowledge, and the prophetic. On Dave Hayes' bonus CD, Hearing God in Today's Political World, you will learn what God gave Dave Hayes in four prophetic dreams. A great time of revival will be poured out upon America once the corruption of wicked leadership shall be exposed in high places. President Trump is going to expose corrupt politicians, corporations, and the fake news media that is being controlled by the the deep state. The best of everything we have been praying for is about to be released by God on America. You absolutely can't make a political decision based on what you watch or read on the news channels. But when you hear God's voice for yourself concerning the truth behind the news, then you can help change your nation. Don't miss out on getting Dave Hayes' powerful book, Hearing God's Voice Made Simple, and his anointed three-part audio CD teaching, Hearing God, Knowledge, Wisdom, and Revelation. Plus this bonus, Dave's audio CD, Hearing God in Today's Political World. This is an exclusive package for our It's Supernatural audience. Yours for a donation of $39. Shipping and handling is included. Ask for offer number 9541. Call or you can send your check to Sid Roth. It's Supernatural. P.O. Box 39222, Charlotte, North Carolina, 28278. Please specify offer number 9541 or log on to SidRoth.org. Call or write today. We now return to It's Supernatural. Well, Dave told me during the break, his strong suit is emotional healing. And you told me you want to pray for emotional healing before physical healing. Why? Well, like a lot of people who have seen some success in healing, you'll, and if you practice and if you pray over people, you'll get to that 80% threshold where about 80% of the people that you pray for will get healed. But there are some conditions, autoimmune is, one, is a common one, that people have a really difficult time getting success and getting them healed. So I you know, was asking the Lord, how do I get that other 20% healed? And that's when the Lord started teaching me about emotional healing and emotional trauma and the roots of all of that. Because I worked in an ambulance, uh, I don't have time to do a two hour healing session on emotional healing in the ambulance. He had to give me something that was very simple and very fast. But you found that that other 20%, when you take care of the emotional, yes. the physical is easy. Yes, and with people who have received a lot of prayer but haven't been healed. That's a lot of people, I know, nowadays, it's more than 20%. <clears throat> right, when I interview people who need healing, I say, have you received a lot of prayer already? If they say yes, I immediately go to emotional healing because it's not power, it's not authority, it's, it's usually emotional trauma. When I get them healed of the emotional trauma, the physical symptoms, whatever they are, usually are, will get Will healed. you pray for emotional healing at the end of the show? Absolutely. Are you interested? Yeah. Okay. Are you interested? You're, you're applauding at home, too. All right. You didn't like President Trump. I what didn't. changed your mind? Oh. But that was before he was president. You don't like Donald Trump. No. Well, I was, uh, my wife and I supported an, another candidate. We did not like Trump. And then I had these dreams. Well, first, I told the Lord, if you have specific revelation you want to give me about political candidates, I'm open to it. And then, well, he started giving me dreams about Trump. 
things that changed my perspective, my understanding of him. He showed you what God's intent was for Trump. In, I think three dreams. Tell me briefly what that yep. his intent was. Before the election, he didn't show me Trump was going to be elected. Mm -hmm. He showed me what was possible if Trump got elected. One of which was a dream that I had about a month or two before the election where Trump confronted And people. I might add, all the polls said he wasn't going to win, right. but right. go ahead. Right. Trump was in this dream. I saw Trump confronting people who had attitudes of uh, racism, bigotry, and hatred. And he told them those attitudes are not going to be tolerated anymore. And he confronted people who had those attitudes. And you, you realize that people that are indoctrinated to most of the news would say, yeah, but he does have attitudes like that. I, I personally know that's not true, but, but that most people would not even believe what you're saying now, even after he's president. Exactly. Most Christians aren't even praying for him. I know. Isn't that sad? Right, what else did God show you? Okay. He also gave me a dream, again, just before the election, where, and this was the night that Trump spoke about his plan for economic revival. And that night I had a dream where I saw, I had the opportunity to sh express my political preference. Once I did, I expressed a political preference for Trump. I stepped through what I could only describe as like a portal into another dimension, into the future. And I was living in, I was observing a society where we had the best of everything. We were abundantly blessed financially. No one had any lack. No one was homeless. All of our needs were met. We lived in a very abundantly blessed society as a result of making the right political choice. I'll tell you what, uh, we're running out of I'm going to tell you something. You cannot go on this if you want to know how to pray the way God wants you to pray. You've got to go by the Spirit in this day and age that we're, we're living in. I need you to pray for people right now for emotional healing and physical healing right now. Okay, here's what I want you to do. I want you to think about the event in your life that is, when you think about it, it brings up the most negative emotions, whether it's shame or guilt or anger, whatever the emotion is. Think of the event, identify the emotions you're feeling, Ask Jesus to take those emotions from you. Ask him to heal the wound in your soul and tell him you receive his healing. Then I want you to wait a minute and think of that same event again. Identify what negative emotions you feel, whether it's shame or guilt or hatred or whatever. Uh, again, ask Jesus to take the emotions, ask him to heal the wound in your soul and tell him you receive his healing. Keep doing that until you recall that event and there are no negative emotions. And you will be healed of the trauma of that event and you'll never feel those emotions again. And only because of time right now, I need you to pray for healing. I command every spirit of pain to leave you. I command ligaments and bones, nerves, tendons, discs, be healed. All infirmity, I command you to leave. Inflammation, I command you to leave. I speak health over you. Lord, bring your glory upon them. And I command all sickness and disease to leave this person now in the name of Jesus. Knowing God is everything. Everything and not knowing God is nothing. You only know God if you tell God you're sorry for your sins and you believe Jesus has washed them away and then ask Jesus to live inside you and be your Lord. If you've never done this, you've never done anything. Dave Hayes, the praying medic, wants you to know that you are hearing from God all the time, but we just don't know it. Dave Hayes makes the case that God is constantly speaking to you, and Dave wants to reveal to you the various ways God speaks to you and how to begin hearing the voice of God clearly. God has shown me that it is a simple process of learning how to distinguish our thoughts from God's thoughts. It's not just about hearing God's voice, it's about removing religious mindsets and restrictions 
we put on ourselves and God. Call now and get Dave Hayes' powerful book, Hearing God's Voice Made Simple, and his anointed three-part audio CD teaching, Hearing God, Knowledge, Wisdom, and Revelation. Plus this bonus, Dave's audio CD, Hearing God in Today's Political World. This is an exclusive package for our It's Supernatural audience. Yours for a donation of $39. Shipping and handling is included. Ask for offer number 9541. In his book, Hearing God's Voice Made Simple, you will learn that angels, demons, God, and Satan are all real, and they are speaking to you every day in their own spiritual language. Discover how to clearly discern life from death, truth from error, and the kingdom of God from the kingdom of darkness. Find out how to meditate on the person of God the Father to receive peace, wisdom, healing, and so much more. Learn the many ways in which God will speak to you, including dreams, visions, aromas, emotions, skin sensations, and thought impressions which carry thoughts to your mind. On Dave Hayes' three-part audio CD teaching series, Hearing God, Knowledge, Wisdom, and Revelation, you will understand how to hear God's voice more clearly. Learn how God speaks to you in your dreams, visions, through angels, and thought impressions. Learn the different purposes for God giving you revelation. Discover the differences between words of knowledge, words of wisdom, and words of prophecy. Dave Hayes prays an impartation over you to walk in the areas of words of wisdom, words of knowledge, and the prophetic. On Dave Hayes' bonus CD, Hearing God in Today's Political World. You will learn what God gave Dave Hayes in four prophetic dreams. A great time of revival will be poured out upon America once the corruption of wicked leadership shall be exposed in high places. President Trump will be used by God to eradicate bigotry and hatred from America without infringing on our freedom of speech. President Trump is going to expose corrupt politicians, corporations, and the fake news media that is being controlled by the deep state. President Trump is the key to bringing about a Korean peace treaty. The best of everything we have been praying for is about to be released by God on America. You absolutely can't make a political decision based on what you watch or read on the news channels. But when you hear God's voice for yourself concerning the truth behind the news, then you can help change your nation. Don't miss out on getting Dave Hayes' powerful book, Hearing God's Voice Made Simple, and his anointed three-part audio CD teaching, Hearing God, Knowledge, Wisdom, and Revelation. Plus this bonus, Dave's audio CD, Hearing God in Today's Political World. This is an exclusive package for our It's Supernatural audience. Yours for a donation of $39. Shipping and handling is included. Ask for offer number 9541. Call or you can send your check to Sid Roth. It's Supernatural. P.O. Box 39222, Charlotte, North Carolina, 28278. Please specify offer number 9541 or log on to SidRoth.org. Call or write today. Next week on It's Supernatural. Are you desperate to experience God on a continuous daily basis? You may be asking, is this even possible? The answer is yes. I'm Patricia Bootsma. Please join me in the next It's Supernatural with Sid Roth as we explore a lifestyle of divine encounters.